Welcome back, everybody. We turn now to secrets to financial wealth. Grab a pen and paper because you're going to want to write down all this information because these tips are important ones. They are tips that Julian and Kirsten Saunders actually perfected. This inspiring couple quit their corporate jobs after becoming debt free and they want to teach you how you can do it too. So I actually kickstarted the conversation to get us on the same financial page. Early in their relationship, Julian and Kirsten Saunders had a hard time talking about money. I don't think I did a pretty good job of that because <laughs> no. uh, it was pretty aggressive and it actually led to a breakup. But luckily we were able to get back together and figure things out. To Julian, Kirsten's credit card debt was a problem. When Kirsten broke down the numbers and started to budget, she realized she was living well beyond her means in the big three categories, food, housing, and transportation. I had a very expensive apartment in Midtown Atlanta. I had a luxury car, and then I was an aspirational grocery shopper, <laughs> which basically means buying a bunch of ingredients and not using them all before they went bad, or creating these ambitious recipes that Lord knows I had no business <laughs> making. <laughs> To save money and start paying off her consumer debt, Kirsten broke her lease, moved into a smaller apartment, and got realistic about her grocery list. Thankfully, she had Julian, who was once a professional chef. For most people, just mastering and learning how to nail a couple dishes and mastering some culinary techniques really help amplify what they can do at home. And I think just that alone pays dividends in the long run. Kirsten also cut down on her social spending by thinking of her financial life in seasons. I absolutely would budget more for going out and entertaining during the summer and the spring when the weather is nice and you treat yourself to a nice patio margarita or whatever you're into. But then I would double down in the winter months and the fall months and decide that actually it's more cozier and I would try to create a really welcoming home environment that made me want to stay in. Eventually, when Julian and Kirsten got married, they asked their guests to help them renovate their home. They wanted to raise their property value instead of loading up a wedding registry with porcelain plates and once a year champagne glasses. So we got tons of gift cards for Home Depot, Lowe's, doors that you can buy, renovation materials. And that was kind of our first project as newlyweds was renovating the house after we paid for that, we started to pay off the mortgage, which took another two years. With their $200,000 debt in the rearview mirror, the Saunders took a hard look at their quality of life. Their frugal habits of eating in, living small, and investing had earned them a sizable nest egg, but they felt unfulfilled by their high-stress, six-figure corporate jobs, so they quit. Now, their mission is to help others find financial freedom. It's not really about the money at this point. It's really just about enjoying our quality of life and helping people who are in much more challenging situations than we are. It's a bit of a privilege for us to be able to do that. They're quite the couple. And if you want to learn more about personal finance from the Saunders, you can pick up Cashing Out wherever books are sold. And for even more tips on winning the wealth game, you can check out their website. That's richandregular.com. You can also find them on social media at Rich and Regular.